Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Shopstrand Audio. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate your support. Thank you. This is video number 37 in my Roland TSS video tutorial series. And this time it is actually part three in my little motion recording tutorial series. So this time I want to explain just quickly and briefly the main functions of the motion recording function. Really handy because um, the part one video, you can find it here is quite long. I think it's over nine minutes. And the second part is also quite long. You can find it here as well. Um, it's also quite long and I decided to make a little short one just to show you the main functions, how to operate the motion recording function. Okay, so let's start. Let's say you have to program some um, changes here with your CTL knobs or tunes. And um, yeah, you don't hear anything when you press play. That's because your motion is not on. You only hear those changes when your motion recording is on. So that's the first thing. The second thing is when you want to record something, you can press record, then apply your changes and deselect recording again. So this is handy because when you leave it on, um, any changes you do will be recorded. So, and most of the time you don't want to record all your changes you do. So another way to do it is also like press and hold down Rick, turn your knob and then let go of Rick and that's it. So then you avoid actually to, um, yeah, record any other stuff because as soon as you let go, your recording is off. That's also really handy. So another function is actually the most important thing is like when you want to erase a motion recording, like you want to delete something what you just recorded. So the first thing is press and hold down shift and press on motion on. Then you see you can choose by turning the value knob between all variation A to H and fill in one and fill in two. This is also quite handy. To exit the menu, just press shift, hold down and on again, or press kit or instrument that will also work. That's super handy to, to delete your motion recording. Another super handy function <laughs> is, let's say you just want to erase a knob. Let's say you just did some changes here to the um, mid tom tune and you only want to, to delete this. So to do this, press and hold down on and turn your knob. As soon as you turn your knob, you see in the display tune erased. Make sure you put it in back in the middle or in the position um, you had the knob before. So this is important. This is really handy. The second thing is, let's say you just want to delete the whole instrument and not everything. Just press and hold down motion on and choose your instrument. Let's say in our case, the mid tom. And you see instrument erased. Really handy. What you also can do, that would be my last thing here. You can press and hold down on motion on and choose a variation directly. Let's say you want to delete everything in variation A, press and hold down motion on and press A. And you see motion erased. That means everything is deleted from variation A. Really handy. This is actually the basic of the uh, motion recording and motion on function. Really handy. And um, yeah, so just try it out when you have a question about one of those shortcuts and how to use it. Just leave a comment. I try my best to answer it. And yeah, that's it. Try it out, experiment a little bit and have fun. Okay then, thanks for watching and see you later.